Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And I'm back for more Let's Play Harvest Moon! Back to Nature on RezoWalkthroughs.com. And I'm here to play it with you guys. So, last episode we got introduced to our main character and to a good portion of the people around town. This episode, we're going to establish the format for the game. And that's pretty much going to be two days an episode. I might go as high as four if I'm feeling froggy. I do not count holidays. Holidays do not count as a day. So you'll get a bonus day on days that have holidays. On episodes that have holidays. Now, what I'm doing here is I read about this a little bit. And it fails. You're supposed to throw something in every day, and the bamboo stalks do count. Throw something in every day that it's a sunny day and it's not a holiday, and the harvest goddess will reward you. But you gotta throw it into the into the um the glowy bit. Okay. And by the way, the vote for Anne was two. So, if you guys want me to pick a different girl, then you'd better get voting. And by the way, additionally, the vote for the spring crop so far is one of each. So, we're going to have an equal mix of spring crops for the first year. Every time... I increase the number of crops that we have. I'm also going to increase, like, say I get more cucumbers. Then I'm also going to plant another of the turnips and the potatoes. So I'm going to keep them even. Also, as of right now, I'm going to start working on getting all of my tools upgraded, which also means getting the thousand gold per level necessary to get the tools upgraded. Stuff like the watering can, I'm gonna get it up to gold level and then that's it. But everything else, and um, I'm only gonna upgrade it one level at a time because that takes one day. Everything else though? Yeah, I will. I will totally wait until I've got the 5,000 gold to pay for it. And the blue ore. And I'll just upgrade them at level 5. Except for the axe, which I need to upgrade as soon as possible. Because unless it's upgraded to copper from iron, it won't be able to cut stumps. So there you go. Hmm. So as usual, the last thing we're going to do during the day is water the crops. So don't worry about that. And the fun part is that once we actually start getting somewhere with the crops, we'll be raking in a lot of money really quickly. Oh, pardon me. It's one in the morning when I started filming this. But another thing I found out was there's a uh, scene you can get with Ann and Cliff. If you go upstairs at this point in time, I guess it didn't happen. Oh well. Hello, Ann. You can only really give her one gift a day. Any other gifts don't count towards her heart total as far as I know. And given the scarcity of items in the game, it's not really surprising. Flowers, as you saw, unlike Friends of Mineral Town and more Friends of Mineral Town, are essentially worthless. Because the uh, box didn't accept them. Oh, hey, cutscene! Karen and Rick. <sighs> oh. 
Off they go to explore the woods. This is actually a clue that you should go behind the church and get introduced to the Harvest Sprites, but I'm not going to do that this episode. Okay. We're going to go into the church. And, oh, hey, there's Cliff. I... Is it okay? No, no it isn't. Let's talk to the pastor. Ah, good day to you. The church has a basement. That's where I sleep. Creepy. Just kidding. Actually. Actually, what? Oh, whatever. Anyways, onward we go. I'm trying to get a lot of the cutscenes that I can. And there's a lot of cutscenes to get through in the... Ooh, pardon me, the first month. Now, in Friends of Mineral Town, you can actually grab some seaweed in every season but winter. But, um, I guess you couldn't do that in this one. Kai's Seaside Lodge, only open in the summer, and that's the only time you can interact with Kai. So, beware. Now, of course, we can't interact with the blatant Chinese stereotype yet because he hasn't decided to settle in town yet. Now, some major differences, but oh, another cutscene. Damn. Hey, it's our horse! It doesn't look very happy. That's because it's still just a pony. Even so, it doesn't look very spirited. It should be running around. Oh, Ozzy. Who's that, me? It's Ozzy. He moved in next door. Next to next door. Oh, yes. The Black Hat Farm. The horse isn't happy? The ranch has lots of horses and sheep and cows, so we can't just trouble ourselves with this one animal. Even so, he seems lonely. I can take care of him. That's sweet, May, but you're still young. Say, do you have a horse? Well then, could you take care of this pony until it grows up? I'll pay you in some way. You don't have to do anything special. Just talk to him every day. I will take care of this pony. Oh, good! Isn't that nice, May? Everything will be just fine! Oh, thank you, Ozzy. You name him, okay? Alright. Normally this would be where I cut the video, but... We're gonna name him for someone else on the site. And... He's a steadfast workhorse on our site, and will hopefully be rejoining us with lots of new videos really soon. We're naming him A+. This name is totally okay. Let me tell you how to care for the pony. He normally stays outside, but you need to bring him into the stable when it's raining. Also, he likes to be brushed. And please remember to take talk to him every day. So, I guess I'll just take him to the stable at your farm. <gasps> Goodbye, A+. Hmm. Okay, and we've got a horse now. Sweet. We also have a grand total of six logs. Well, wow! Another cutscene. And it's Karen and Rick again. Yeah, Rick can be kind of a jerk about Kai. Mostly because he's the overprotective older brother type. And he really shoots himself in the foot here. Yeah, sorry Rick, but you're an idiot. 
And back to you, all of us. Do 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 do. Hello. Kai's a good guy, and I'm the cad. What are you thinking? That you're an idiot. I heard that conversation, idiot. Anyways, let's find out how much a brush costs. Wow. Well, if it isn't Ozzy from the Black Hat Farm, what can I do for you today? Uh, let's buy a tool. Brush is 800 gold, holy crud. Is there anything else? I'm always available to talk, as long as I'm not working at the time. Yeah, that voice is not going to do good things to my throat. Okay. Yeah, come on. Alright. Let's go in, make sure we got all the right tools for the job. Uh, there we go. We don't care. Oh, I've already got all the right. Well, then I'll, I'll um grab the axe. Yeah. Yeah. As I said before in the first episode, time does not pass in buildings, which you can exploit so easily, so easily. You can see our turnips are the first to grow. Our potatoes. Our potatoes. We're gonna mash them, fry them, stick them in a stew. They take a uh, two days longer to grow, I believe. So cucumbers take the longest to start. However, they're also a renewable crop, which means you don't have to plant new crops every single time you harvest them, which you do have to do with um, toying ups and uh, potatoes. Wrong button. Uh, hop. And over here. Hop. There we go. I can't take care of this. I'll take the priorities that's in the pan. Can't take care of the stumps until the axe is at copper level. So, that's another reason why I'm going choppy choppy. Go away. Go over here. Yeah, you can make fences using rocks, and it's really effective for keeping animals where you want them. Um, buttons, there we go, yes, yes, 6 p.m., I don't care, screw off, let's go talk to the horse, and then we'll call it a day, hello, A+, plus. there, there, A+, plus. grow up fast, give us many more videos, And back to chopping, chopping stuff. Get all of the extra work done that I can after all of the saleable portion of the day is done. You know, clean up the yard, stuff like that. Gather resources and materials. Die. What? I did not pause that. Sticks are worth one wood each. Darn it. And stumps are worth six wood. An entire tree. I think you can chop down an entire tree. I don't know. But an entire tree is worth considerably more? I don't know, it's been a while. 
All right, tonight we're not going to save because, well, it's midpoint in the game. It's midpoint in the episode. We don't save during that point. We only save at the end. And it's raining. Huh. This is what I get for not checking the weather every day. All right, set that away. And do that. Why? Because I'm going to introduce you guys to cave mining. Which can be really lucrative. But it costs you in stamina. Now, because the harvest goddess ain't going to show up when it's raining, we're going to gather materials head back to the farm and you know basically do what we always do. This also means that Anne is not going to show up at the uh, spring because hey it's rainy. It's miserable out. Anne is in the inn all day. You guys voted for her, so just remember that. If you want a different girl, you gotta vote for a different girl. Huh, no stones. Okay, whatever. Um, that's junk ore. You can freely throw it away here without any penalties. Hey, free money. That's one thing. So that's two of the things that you can... Oh, hello. Three of the things that you can find in this. Hello. Basically, search every floor using your hoe. Now, in Friends of Mineral Town and more Friends of Mineral Town, the only way to get ore, and that's a copper ore, is to smack a rock. So you need to bring two tools. But you don't need to do that in this game because there's no rocks to smash in the cave. Go away. Oh well. This works. I think there's an algorithm that the hole downward is always within a certain set of squares from the hole upwards. Hello, silver ore. Hello, gold ore. And that's our backpack. Whee! Now, the interesting thing about the GBA remake is that you have six slots. That's six slots for tools, I think. You know what? Before I open my mouth and look stupid, I'm actually going to check the game later. So, um, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, yeah. All I know is there actually is six slots, but I don't know if it's the same six slots that you have here, or if it's a different six slots, where it's tools and... Hmm, nothing? Nothing, nothing, tra-la-la! Well, fine then. Oh, by the way, Woodcutter Gots is your alternate source for wood if you have lots of money and are feeling lazy. You don't want to go cut 500 lumber for yourself? Or, you're, or it's taking too long? Pay him money. He will totally give you 500 lumber. <sighs> as long as you have the money for it. And every upgrade to your house costs a certain number of lumber. So naturally, 
to save time and effort, you kind of want to get the lumber from God's. Okay, she's still not showing that clip. Okay, here you go. Have a flower. Now, from what I understand, getting potpourri is dirt simple with flowers. She's the easiest to get, but she's also kind of whiny. I'm not trying to change your mind, I'm just giving you guys info. And besides, you guys already picked Anne, so we're going with Anne. And that's all there is to it. Let's go in the hospital. Check them out. Hello. Uh-huh. No. No pain at all. I am not screaming! Fine. Thank you. I am not a big baby. Promise. No! Hey, Doc. Ah, hello. You're Ozzy from the Black Cat Farm, right? Looks like you've already gotten hurt, but it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, screw you. Okay, that's another scene out of the way. And let's go in here. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Krillin? Let's talk to you. I'm up to my ears and bills. Sorry to hear that. Can I talk to Karen? No? Darn. Oh well. We. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, Karen's an alcoholic. She gets drunk on a regular basis. She really does. Which also makes her one of the most expensive girlfriends. Oh my, it's raining outside. Thank you. Makes her one of the most um, expensive girlfriends to get. Because the gift that she loves the most is wine. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. Uh, what are you writing? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. That's no big deal. No, I'm, um, oh, you say the same thing again, okay. I'm gonna go up and explore the second story. What, huh, what's over here? A locked door, huh, okay. A book written by Basil about the cave near the spring, aww. Ah. Yes, I steal bits from other Let's Players, bite me. Well, not steal so much as borrow without asking, and promptly return it when I'm done. So, okay, we need 850 to get the brush that we need for the horse. We need to get the horse's love up as far as we can. Uh, but first, let's go talk to Horsey. Hello, Horsey. There, there, A+. Plus. Grow up fast. Okay. And off we go. Now, if you have the brush, then you can get um, two art bits per day. Let's put the hammer away, because we don't need it. 
and then go and get another backpack full of minerals then I suppose we'll call it a day and an episode ding dong it's noon okay up the hill hmm is it just me or does that hot spring look like it's glowing go away oh more money this is a cheap way, cheap way to get gold that you need so it's actually rewarding to do but um hello oh darn it wrong way go away hello down we go every time you get the opportunity go down uh oh fatigue is setting in and it's a rainy day so I might get sick oh, um that's it okay we're gonna call it a day now off we go that is so weird it almost looks like it's glowing Oh, uh, just a little bit more and we're done and dump and dump and dump we also need grass for the horse so the right side of the field will be dedicated to grass the left side will be dedicated to various crops that is both a honey tree in the fall and a apple well it's a honey tree at some point and it also does apples 30 lumber not nearly enough oh well time to turn in okay upsie daisy uh huh weather report time Tomorrow's weather forecast. Rain developing from the morning and lasting throughout the day. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Well, anyways, this is Man of the Black Hat. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Harvest Moon. Vote for what happens next. Later.